This bout is three five-minute rounds in the flyweight division. Introducing your first warrior, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 13 wins and two losses. He stands 167 centimeters tall and weighs already 57.15 kilograms. Representing CM System and fighting out of Curitiba, Parana, Brazil. Please welcome Eddie Alcel, Para Hayo, And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses, two draws, and one no contest. He stands 166 centimeters tall and weighs already 56.6 kilograms. Representing Nick Catone MMA and Driven Jim and fighting out of Bud Lake, New Jersey, USA. Give it up. For Sean Shorty Rock Santala! Alves, will that be something that Santala tries to exploit? Pink and inked is the scrappler Sean Santala. Phil, both these fighters are going to be kicking. Both these fighters are going to be punching. But at some point, it's going to get down to the ground. What we're looking here is a situation, is a case where neither fighter has ever been tapped. Alves is unquestionably the more dynamic striker. Implements a lot of interesting capoeira style movement. Santala as close as you can get to a pure grappler in mixed martial arts. Gonna try and punch his way in and may even drop down for a leg or pull guard. That's how confident he is. His jiu-jitsu has won him a number of titles in the American regional scene, but if he can put it together here in Brave Combat Federation, he can unquestionably make a charge. That was absolutely fantastic attack. Absolutely fantastic. Threw a high kick and went into a single. How often do you see that? Almost never fill. And look how quickly he gets on the back like a spider monkey. Has Second hook is in. And right now, this is where he does his best work. Here comes the pressure. Hips are getting lower. They've gotten about an inch higher. It might have been off. The hips are now lower. Does have five rear naked choke victories in his arsenal. And we know just how dangerous he is when he takes that back. And he exhibits a level of calm that comes with being a, 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 an over 30 fight veteran in the professional ranks, slowly, methodically working for the choke. No wasted energy. So efficient. And if you're Alves right now, you have to stay calm. You have to fight. The hands needs to go two on one. What Alves wants to do, Brave Nation, is he's got control of the left wrist now. If he can pass that arm over his head, he's going to be safe. If he can't, he's not. Almost like a modified body triangle here from Santala. More so on the foot. Short, throwing beautiful little pot shot. Elbows here to elicit the space and can't quite see if he's underneath the chin. No, he's not. But again, just the work rate and the economy of energy and efficiency from Santala is what's so impressive right now. Those short little punches, Brave Nation, may look like they don't hurt very much, and certainly they do not hurt as much as a standing straight right. But they have two purposes. One, they hurt. I'm telling you, it hurts when you get elbowed in the head by Sean Santella. And the other is, it causes the opponent to make micro mistakes that you can take advantage of and sink that show. Yeah, it just creates those little pockets of space with the strikes. Enough to slip an arm underneath the chin, but so far, Alves very much in defensive mode. There's two minutes left in this fight, Brave Nation. Plenty of time for an attack, plenty of time for an escape. What a feather in the cap it would be for Santala to become the first man to submit Alves, of course, training out of an incredible gym, CM Systems, Coritiba, Brazil, under Cristiano Marcelo. Again, 
really is just a joy to watch the Tala go to work. 90 seconds left in the me. opening round here for Santala. Plenty of time to get more work in. And yes. oh, how draining is this for Alves' character to, to be in defensive mode for pretty much the entirety of the round with Santala on his back? Shorty Rock has a, a mount that I call the Velcro mount from back. He's very, very hard to get off. And Brave Nation, not only is he hard to get, the position allows you to throw some punches without being in any danger. It allows you to go for that choke without being in any danger, but it also compresses the abdomen. Those hips pressing on in the back yeah. is absolutely miserable. It compromises breathing. And when you've had a hard cut like Parajayo did, this is a very tough position he's in. Is that perhaps a little bit of the game plan of Santala to drag Alves into deeper waters and see if the gas tank can hold up. Phil, it wouldn't be seemly for me to ask fighters their game plan because we'd be announcing it, but it would be a very smart game plan to have. Oh, he's turning it up with the elbows. Very intelligent work from the vet in Santala. If Shorty Rock wants to submit a man who's never been submitted before, he's got 23 seconds to do it, Brave Nation. He is essentially the human personification of a backpack here. Switches to potential armbar. Maybe looking for triangle next. And he's eating some shots now for his damage or for his troubles, but 10 seconds left. Big. Shorty Rock taking big shots to the head, looking for guard. May have been looking momentarily. That's a strong, huge round for Panayo. He is down. He's incredibly tough. I think Shorty Rock realized those little tiny elbows weren't going to get him the effect he need. That was when he started to throw the bigger ones. Now he's got a very long, hard task ahead of him. He has to get his opponent down to the mat again. You wonder just how much having Sean Santala on your back for essentially four minutes of a round has taken out of Alves. And Phil, as much as we talked about how difficult it is to have gone through a cut like that, there's a plus side to it too. You are larger than your opponent. Shot may have gone a little bit low. Decky Larkin is stepping in. We may even get a replay of it. Oh, and again, you you never want to you you, you empathize with a fighter when you see them take take a groin shot like that. But but my God, I enjoy watching the replay. Replay Here brought to us by Brave Jim. I would want to see that one more time to say definitively whether it went low or not. And I believe what happened was... The trailing foot, perhaps? I believe it was the trailing foot. I think the knee hit solidly, and that may be, may be what everybody saw, but there was a shin and a foot that yep. swung up at a at a very painful angle. And it's still, it's, it's still a groin shot. It's still uncomfortable. It's still horrible. Knee landed to the midsection, the trailing shin, the foot catches the groin. Sean Santala, more than entitled to five minutes, chooses not to take it. Commendable from Santala. Also, we want to be very clear, that shot to the groin was 100% unintentional. Santala throwing back with a hands. Big head kick thrown by Alves. Santala backing up against the cage, doing the right thing, circling out, back into the open forum of the mat. Strong front kick. By the man from Brazil. Good defense, good hips being shown there by Alves. Now, if you're short you rock, you know that your opponent is going to anticipate the takedown. Do you fake the takedown, try and open up with your strikes a little bit more? I like very much what he did. He committed to the first takedown. When it didn't work, he committed to a second takedown. Could have tried to pull guard there, but I think he knows he doesn't want that opponent on top of him throwing his hardest shots. Be interesting to see just how much Alves commits to the strikes now. Good work. Little bit of capoeira for his troubles. Spinning capoeira kick to the hamstring. I am not sure I've ever seen that. Trying it again. Phil, that was absolutely a wonderful technique. I believe I've never seen that before. Spinning capoeira oh. kick to the hamstring. Followed up by an up round kick. This is class. 
Capo, não where it's all. Não, não, nothing, George. Nothing. Vai, vai, vai. Mete a porrada ali, não mandou parar, não. Boa, Referee Jackie Larkin said it was a legal Olha, shot. Olha a pedalada. Vai. Não. Não, não, vai batendo. Alves, vai batendo. Alves, Alves bica, calling. Né? Não quer mais. Vai pontuando. Isso, vai pontuando. For Santala to get up. Just high active. The head speed of Santala here. Uh, he's eating some heavy leg kicks. Alves may step off and ask for the stand up. Jackie Larkin decides to stand him up. Santala readjusting the cup. Feels like there was. A groin shot there. Shorty Rock likely to throw a punch a little bit wide. Try and get his opponent's hands up, then get in there, get in there, maybe on a single. Doesn't work, switch it off to a double. I'm enjoying the movement of Alves here. Very traditional capoeira style. May look to throw a spinning kick with that ice skate. It's almost akin to ice skating when you see him cut those angles. Phil, there's a lot of argu arguments for what the world's most Boa. effective mixed martial art is. The world's Boa. most beautiful mixed Boa. martial art is Capoeira, the other biqueiro. mixed martial art from Brazil. La distancia. La distancia. Carey put a little bit of spice on the pronunciation. A man of the world. Spin kick, shorty rock. Alves throwing those oblique kicks to try and jar the knee of Santala. Swing and a miss. It was a beautiful Boa. swing and a miss, though, Phil. Boa, oh, oh, shot to the body from Santala, but a short little pop uppercut. Alves seems to be feeling himself a little bit more. Good shot from Santala. Next time, Shorty Rock lands that hook. He's going to want to get in there on the legs. He's not going to win this fight exchanging hooks. He could easily win this fight getting his opponent down on the ground and working some of his back magic. 10 seconds. Bora para Rai. Você tá o último. Bora, bora. Bora, na cabeça, na cabeça. Boa. Joelho projetando para Rai. Vai, 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 vai. Oh, flying me. Not far away. All to play for. Dicky Larkin calls. The fighters on third and final round. Here we go. That's what we're looking for. Shorty Rock, single, looking for the double now. May look for a back take. And he is relentless. Tries to get a trip. Beautiful takedown from Santala in the open guard now. And this is not where Alves wants to be. Alves doing nice elbows, looking straight. Very interesting technique, Phil. He's going for the point of the shoulder, trying to numb that arm. Yeah, uh, to the uninitiated, that may look like a 12 to 6 elbow, but if you look at the actual arc of the elbow, that is coming in a straight line, so it's perfectly legal. Dicky Larkin reminding Parahaya, you cannot put your toes through the fence of the unified rules of mixed martial arts. Beautiful wrist control there by Santala, slowly, methodically working his way into the half guard has opened for him. Brave Nation, there are different strategies you can employ when you're inside your opponent's guard. One thing you can look to do is ground and pound. Shorty Rock not taking that approach. I think he's gonna, as Phil said, methodically try and get past that guard, and then he'll start looking for a submission. Again, solidifying position before submission. Such smart work from Santala. And right now he's in that half guard, co commonly referred to now as the anchor position in mixed martial arts. Lots of fighters are, are happy to solidify that base. But Santala potentially looking for a head arm triangle. Impeded somewhat by the cage, but... Potentially take the back, there it is. Brave Nation, look for Shorty Rock's right heel. He's going to be trying to jam it into his opponents in that space over the hip, above the thigh. If he can achieve that, he just failed it. Excellent move by Parajayo is now gonna look to get back to a full closed guard from there. We'll try to stand. Standing from bottom half guard can be done, but it's quite difficult. Lock up that arm. Let's lock up that arm. Job, just every time that Alves tries to move, Santala just rides out the position a little bit. Nice and calm because if he was tense, he would be a solid mass, which would be easily moved. But he's very much like a like a fire blanket extinguishing the flames of the fight left in Alves. A bit of reversal. Oh, has the triangle Triangle's position. in place. Oh, triangle Foot arm bar. Fully in there. Head, I believe the head is out. Oh, beautiful work from Alves to tough out the position. One minute to go, Brave Nation. 
but again Santala gets himself onto his knees potential for a Peruvian necktie if Alves can cut the angle but right now turtled up as Santala protecting himself they try and roll if he gets the cusp of the elbow Again, I think there's a little bit of, of an issue with the timing, ladies and gentlemen, here. A little shot to the back of the head, warned by Declan Larkin as Alves. Parajayo starting to land some big shots from top. He's eating big elbows here, Shorty Rock. Brave Nation, when you rear back, those shots are big. On the ground, fighters are denied the use of their hips. Distance becomes power, and when you rear back, you throw those elbows, those punches from a long way away, they hit with impact. Sean Santala wincing here. I think there might be some sort of, a, some sort of an impediment, perhaps. That was all Santala in the start of the second round. It's Alves right now in the ascendancy, but Santala always dangerous off his back. Nice up kick. Very dangerous open guard. Nice little elbows from Santala there, trying to dive on a Kimura here. Nice big elbows from Parraio. Up kicks there for him, up kicks there. Beautiful work from Santala, but Alves coming back with those shots over the top. Brave Nation, those up kicks are only legal when the opponent is up on his feet. If the opponent's on his knees, they are not legal. Big shot from Alves there, just crashing down transitions into side control. Good work from Santala, but it's gonna get his back taken here. Regardless, this is going to be an incredibly close fight if we go to the judges. Ten seconds to go. Roll from Santala. We get a lot of fights in mixed martial arts where the fighters ages together are not 39 years. We're getting a look at that great third round action by instant replay. We're seeing the elbows to the shoulder. Very, very smart technique. Doesn't knock anybody out, but it makes defending with that arm challenging. It makes striking with that arm challenging. Here we see the big reversal. May have been the beginning of the end for Short Rock. But Ohio did his time, got that reversal, ended up on top here. These are the closing seconds of the round. Nice up kick from Short Rock. And by the way, his expert corner and called for it. All right, Brave Nation, what an incredible war inside the Brave Cage. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 29 28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, AMT!